everyone, thank you so much for joining us for prayer this evening. I'm so excited that you could tune in and just be part of this prayer meeting and gather with us as we're trusting God for breakthrough in various things. Um, I want to start off by reading this short and powerful verse in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57 that says, But thanks be to God, He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Wow, that's so powerful, you know. Um, and as I was thinking about it, I'm just reminded of the fact that as we're praying, we're praying from a place of victory. We're not praying for victory. Victory has already been given to us through Jesus Christ. So we're praying from that place of victory and enforcing the purposes of God here and in, in the earth as his ambassadors. And just also just, yeah, just knowing that we, we've come to pray to a God that is living and active, not a God that is mute, that cannot, that cannot speak, not a God that is blind, that cannot see, definitely not a God that is deaf, that doesn't hear our prayers, but a God that hears our prayers and wants to answer these prayers. So this, this um, evening, there are just four things that the Lord really placed on my heart, and I just want us to pray through them point by point. The first thing I want us to pray for is for the nation of Namibia. We know that we've got a way our president has been set in for the next five years and he just announced his new cabinet this weekend. So we just want to pray for those ministers. And I want us to pray for integrity, for wisdom and for the fear of the Lord. Uh, for the fear of the Lord, sorry. And that the next five years will, will be more powerful and and really just so blessed beyond measure for this nation. So let's just begin to pray for that. Father, we want to thank you for 30 years of independence of Father God. We want to thank you for what you've done in the, in the past 30 years. We want to thank you for so much peace, for stability over this nation of Father God in the past 30 years of Father God. And Lord, as we embark upon the next five years with President Hage and his new cabinet, we pray, Lord, that you continue to carry us as a nation, that you continue to do the work that you've set aside, that you have purpose to, do, to, to bring to um, fruition for this nation of Namibia, Father God. We pray that our leaders will lead with integrity, oh Father God. We pray, Father, that they will lead with wisdom, oh Father God, and we know, Lord, that your word says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, oh Father God. And we pray for the fear of the Lord upon every single minister that is standing in the place of office, oh Father God. We lift them up before you, Father God. And we thank you for your hand upon their lives that you will lead them and guide them during this time, oh Father God. In Jesus' name, we thank you and we praise you for that. The next thing that um, I really sense that we need to pray for is just, again, to pray against that fear that COVID-19 um, is bringing upon people. And, and especially even in our nation, people are scared. There, there's so much fear around this virus, but we really just want, um, uh, as much as we are faced with the facts and we see what's going on, we, we, we want to be a people that is full of faith. And that, that, will, that will stand and that will speak life and not death. So let's just pray into that. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have not given us the spirit of fear and timidity, but you've given us a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind, oh Father God. And therefore, we just come and break fear over this nation, oh Father God. We pray, Father God, for confidence in you, Lord Jesus. We pray, Father God, Lord, that even as we, we're seeing the, the things that are happening around us, oh Father God, that we will stand, oh Father God, and we will trust in you, oh Father God, that we will that we will speak life over this nation. We will speak life over the people in the, of this nation, oh Father God, and we will not give in to fear. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for your goodness. And with that, oh Father, we pray against this coronavirus in our nation, oh Father God. We pray, Father God, that it will not spread further than it has already, Father God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your protection over our nation. We lift it up before you, Father God, and declare in the name of Jesus that corona will not spread further, Father. We thank you, Lord, that you are God over this nation and that you're watching over this nation. Your protection is over this nation, Lord. We declare it right Right now in the name of Jesus we thank you father that you have gone before us and you're fighting this on our behalf as a nation oh Lord in the name of Jesus we thank you father amen amen 
Awesome. The next prayer point, or what I would like us to pray for next, is really to pray for the church during this time. Um, I want us to spend some time just praying for you and for myself, you know, just um, because there's so much that has been redone. We're used to doing life a certain way. We've got our daily schedules. We've got things that we've planned, and all of a sudden, everything has come to a stop, and and it's easy to go into panic mode, but I really just sense that during this time, we need to continue focusing on Jesus and who He is in our lives and, 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 and listen to His voice and see how we can make use of this time that we have. So much more time in our hands, probably, than what we're used to. But really, as families, to be reunited, to, to, to come into a place of realignment, and, 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 and not to dread this time, um, but really just be united and, and, and be one. And even for the church, that as we're feeling scattered right now, that we will so um, feel connected to the body. Um, they will make the time to so visit where we can and, and pray for one another and encourage one another that we'll be full of faith and that we'll be strong that we will be the voice of hope in this time and that we will continue to hold on to God's word and his promises. So let's just pray for that right now. Father, we thank you for your church. We thank you, Father, for every single church member, Lord Jesus. And I know the distance can be very daunting, Lord, but we thank you that you are in control. And we really just pray, Father, for faith to rise up. I thank you, Lord, that every person will be full of strength, uh, that there will be grace, oh Father God, with just that tenacity to continue reading your word, to continue staying full of prayer, Father God. We thank you, Lord, that you, you continue to move in our lives, oh Father God, that, that, that you, you in our lives, that you don't stop moving because of coronavirus that has stopped everything, oh Father God, but we continue to move with you, we continue to press into you, we continue to listen to what you're doing and, and how you're leading us during this time, Father. I thank you that we refocus ourselves to be focused on you and your voice and, and what your Holy Spirit is doing in our lives and in the lives of those surrounding us during this time. We just thank you, Father, that, that you guide us and you lead us during this time in jesus name thank you for 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 victory in you thank you for steadfastness in you thank you lord that we will not waver father god but our faith will continue to be strong during this time that we will continue to look to you as the author and perfecter of our faith oh lord in jesus name and lord we pray even for those that may be um, implicated directly because of the virus, oh Father God, we, we lift them up before you, Father. I thank you, Lord, for your protective hand. I thank you for your hand of provision. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, Father, that they will not feel, um, they will not feel uh, left to the side or, or disheartened in any way, oh Father God. But Lord, that you will come through for them in Jesus' name, Father. We thank you for that, Lord. We thank you for your peace. We thank you for your for your guidance and we thank you lord that we can trust you in this situation in jesus name we we, we bless your holy name amen and um amen thank you lord wow his presence is so strong in this place um thank you jesus the next thing that i want us to pray for is to really pray for the nation of italy i don't know if you've been watching the news on what's happening in Italy or just clips that have been sent around it's it's really it's just very very devastating and uh, as a nation I can only imagine what it's like for them um, I remember seeing s somewhere where they mentioned that the only thing that Italy can do right now is really look to heaven or look up at the skies and cry out to the living God and that's so true you know when when we come to the end of ourselves, there's only one thing that can remain, and that is that God is true and that God is in control. When men come to the end of themselves, they, there's nothing else they can look to but the living God. So I really want us just to pray for the nation of Italy, pray for God's goodness to prevail in that nation, pray for mercy over that nation, 
and really for breakthrough, for God to come through for the nation of Italy right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father God, for the nation of Italy, Lord. We, we know, Lord, that you know Italy by name, Father God, because you know every nation that is on this planet, oh, Father God. And we know that your heart is that nations will prosper in your presence. You want us to prosper as nations. You have brought every nation into being, oh, Father God, that nations may prosper, that their families may be healthy and be blessed, oh, Father God. Therefore, we pray, Lord, that you come and have your way in the nation of Italy, oh, Father God. We pray for comfort for those that have lost family members that are crying out to you right now. We pray that you'll come and comfort those families in the name of Jesus. May they find comfort in you and comfort in your word, oh, Father God. We pray, Lord, that you will turn the situation around for the nation of Italy. Oh, Father God, we're standing in agreement with that nation, oh Father God, and crying out for mercy, oh Father God. We know that mercy triumph over judgment, oh Father God, and that you will come through for the nation of Italy. We thank you, Father God, that you, you sent forth your power into that nation, oh Father God, and that you touch that nation and bring freedom from this COVID-19 virus, oh Father. We thank you for your presence in Italy right now, Father God. We pray, Lord Jesus, that their prayers are not in vain. We thank you even for, for, for hearts that are turned towards you, for revival in this nation, oh Father God, that as nothing else is coming through for them, they're looking to the one true God. And we pray, Lord, that they will find you according to your word that says that when you seek me with all your heart, you will find me. We pray that for Italy this evening. We thank you, Lord, that you touch the nation of Italy, oh Father God, and that you bring change in that nation, Father. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. You're a God of breakthrough. You're a God of breakthrough, Lord. We thank you, Father, for your peace over that nation for your healing over the nation of Italy, Father God. In Jesus' name, we bless your holy name. We thank you for your faithfulness. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Wow, God's heart right now is broken for every single person that has been affected by this COVID-19. And we need to continue praying that they will know the heart of the Father. The families that have seen loved ones dying and, and, and just have, have been directly affected by this, that they will see the heart of the Father. They will know the heart of the Father right now. Um, yeah, and yeah, that's really all that I had in my heart for us to pray this evening. I want to thank you once again for joining in and standing with us in prayer. And really just want to trust that um, as we continue to pray, that God will open up our, our spiritual eyes to really see what is happening in what is happening behind the scenes, what is happening in the spiritual realm, what is he saying, and that we continue to pray that which is on his heart for the whole world right now, that which is on his heart for the whole world. And I really want to encourage you to just stay strong in faith to continue seeking Him and to continue praying. This, that's really all that we can do during this time. We know the facts, we're taking the precautionary measures, but we have to look to God during this time. So thank you so much for joining us for prayer. Um, God bless you and have a great, great, great evening, the rest of, or, or rather enjoy the rest of the evening and may the rest of the week be blessed. And I just wanna also mention to our Bible school students um, and for those that are interested, we will have um, just a word of encouragement and, 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 and a short teaching by Pastor Chris that he will be sharing with us tomorrow. So I really wanna encourage you again to, to tune in online and, and listen to that teaching. I really believe it's, it's gonna be very um, edifying. It's really gonna build us up during this time. So God bless you. Have an awesome, awesome evening. And I'll